this presentation, we are going to discuss our proposed blockchain based medical health record management using IBFS. We name it Made Access. So, to begin with, let me uh, walk you through factual story. There is a kid uh, was uh, was uh, was called Khalid, born with heart defects. He he need to uh, operate yearly medical checkups. For each checkups he is done, it result in numerous uh, amount of X-rays, MRIs, echo, and other test reports. Every year his medical records keeps increasing, and once Khalid got very sick, but his family didn't own any of his medical files. They would have to go through process of having checkups done once again. This creates a huge concern and compromise patient well-being. Therefore, what is the issue of centralized electronic health record? Medical files are fragmented across different pharmacies hospitals and private clinics and labs. The patient doesn't uh, own the records. So, health records must be patient-centric. Uh, here are some sample of top 10 breaches in 2019. As shown, centralized options clearly invoke patient privacy as there are min, uh, more than 25 million with breaches medical data. So, uh, medical data records must be decentralized and secured to solve this issue. So, to describe blockchain in simple terms, blockchain is a decentralized ledger whereby it used to record transaction in a different node in the network. Blockchain provide immutability where record cannot be changed under any condition. Blockchain include smart contract which are rules in how to store transactions in a smart manner without intermediaries. How does blockchain work? The blockchain consists of blocks are linked by the hash of the previous block. The hash of the blockchain is generated by a puzzle and to solve the puzzle there is something called the nonce which help to solve the puzzle if the puzzle is solved the hash will be generated and linked to the blockchain if not solved the nonce will be generated to be solved by miners and all these steps are done by miners so storing in the blockchain of one megabyte of file will cost 50 GUI, which is an estimated transaction fees required by the miner. One GUI would cost four dollars, and storing one megabyte of file of EHR would cost two hundred dollars. Storing uh, one gigabyte of file would cost two hundred thousand. If millions and millions of citizens have their EHR stored on the blockchain, it would be near a country budget monetary amount, which is not a feasible solution. So using blockchain by itself is not a, for storing EHR is not a feasible solution. So we need, we need another method to store EHR uh, in the blockchain with a minimum cost. So our proposed solution is use an off-chain solution to store the EHR files. An identifier location of the EHR is only stored in the blockchain. By using proper encryption to ensure data is accessed only by authorized people, we proposed the use of interplanetary file system as the off-chain solution. IBFS is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network where enable user to store and access their file and application data where the, where the data cannot be changed or deleted as blockchain. Requesting a data, data in IBFS is not like HTTP protocol, which, is, which you request the data by the IB address. In IBFS, you request the data by the hash of the content itself. So here the high-level system overview. 
When the patient data is documented, they are encrypted and added to the IBFS. Then, the hash of the content is going to be generated and added to the blockchain. In the process of viewing the EHR, the hash of the, uh, of the document is going to be retrieved from blockchain and uh, requested from the IBFS, decrypted and uh, viewed by the facilitator or the patient. System requirement. For the patient requirement, there are three basic requirements. Register and login, grant and revoke access, view on EHR. For register and login, the patient register the information and then can access to our system to benefit from our services. A grant and revoke access, the patient can grant an access or revoke it from the physician or lab technician. The physician can create an EHR and the lab technician can add the lab result. Then the patient can view on EHR on demand. Physician requirement. The physician have three or three requirement: register and login, create EHR, view patient EHR. For register and login, it's the same process as the patient. For create EHR, there is a list of patients that grant him an access. So the the physician can create the EHR for the patient, and then can view this EHR. And the, they are also the lab technician, but uh, instead of creating EHR, he can or she can add the lab result and view the patient EHR. System design and workflow. Key generation process. When a user register in our system, we will generate three keys. Private key, public key, and symmetric key. The private key will be saved in the user device. The public key will be saved on cloud database, which is MongoDB. The symmetric key will be encrypted with the public key and stored in the MongoDB also. Grant access process. When a patient grant access to a physician or lab technician, he needs to provide the private key. After providing the private key, the system will retrieve the encrypted symmetric key from MongoDB. Then it will be decrypted by the private key of the patient and when this will generate the symmetric key then the symmetric key will be encrypted with the public key of the required physician or lab technician and will be stored in the MongoDB Installing the EHR on the interplanar file system the process begins when a physician documents the necessary medical information for the patient then the physician will provide his or her private key and after that the documented medical information will be converted into a pdf document uh, by the backend node.js after that in mongodb the encrypted uh, symmetric key will be retrieved and then will be uh, decrypted by the physician private key this will yield a symmetric key which will be used to encrypt the uh, PDF converted file and after that the encrypted file will be stored on the interplanar file system. The interplanar file system will generate a content ID which will be then stored as a block or in the block as a transaction in the blockchain. In viewing on HR, the patient would have to provide his or her private key. After that, in the blockchain, uh, we'd have to, qu to query the entire uh, electronic health record for the specified patient. And then we will retrieve the entire content ID of each stored electronic health record. After that, in order to view the electronic health record, we would have to uh, 
get the interplanar file system content ID from the IPFS network. Then the files will be retrieved in an encrypted form from the interplanar file system network. And so in order to decrypt it and view it, the patient would have to provide his private key or her private key and then decrypt it. After the successful decryption, the electronic health record will be displayed for the patient successfully. System implementation stack. For the system implementation stack, we have designed a diagram which entails the entire process for whenever a physician or lab technician add or attach a medical file and retrieve a specified patient electronic health record. The process begins whenever a physician or lab technician requests the patient list which will be retrieved from the backend MongoDB cloud uh, database service and then after that the physician or lab technician would have to add the medical file or attach the medical file. After that the file would have to be encrypted on the backend and then it will be added to the interplanar file system. The interplanar file system would generate a specified content ID for the encrypted added file. Then the process, be, the process continues uh, by invoking an electronic health record smart contract in the blockchain environment. This will prompt the user with the confirmation of the specified smart contract. Then whenever the physician or lab technician sign the smart contract, the electronic health record uh, transaction would be added to the blockchain. For viewing a specified uh, patient electronic health record, the physician or lab technician would have to uh, uh, view the requested medical file specifically, and then the files would be queried from the blockchain and then decrypted and then viewed for the physician or lab technician successfully. Our project have three major features. Feasibility, we have provided a feasible solution for the uh, unfeasible blockchain cost and we have also provided a security implementation for how to uh, secure the uh, patient electronic health record with his private own keys. And we also provide a scalable uh, solution in which we store heavy files in an interplanar file system instead of the blockchain. Thank you for listening.